Disclaimer. This tutorial is only intended for replay or stream purposes, and the PP counter itself cannot be seen in-game. If you need in-game PP counter, this video is not for you. Second disclaimer. This tutorial can only be implemented if you are using OBS or Stream Labs OBS for recording your gameplay. There might be similar plugins uh, for other apps, but I have never tested it. First of all, download these two things. The download link will be provided on the description below. First, OBS plugin called TXT Trigger. What this plugin does is to display or hidden certain OBS components using certain value on a text file. Download it and you can put it anywhere you want. Open OBS, go to Tools, Scripts, click the plus button and locate your previously downloaded plugin. We will use it later in the video. Second, OStream Companion and its OBS plugin. This is an app for the PP counter itself. You need to download OBS plugin.zip and streamcompanion.setup.exe. Install the exe like the usual application installation for OBS plugin, put it on OBS installation folder. For more information about this application, you can check its wiki. Link will be also provided on description. Now about how it works. Um, it's basically image overlay slapped with data from OStream companion. So you need the design from the custom PP counter itself. You can make any design you want. But for this video, I'll use this design. This design is also going to be available to download in the description below. Setting all stream companion tokens and output patterns. Now, I'm going to introduce you to a new term, tokens and output patterns. You could say tokens is information gathered from OS using OStream companion, such as PP, time, unstable rate, how many you have missed, etc. And we can use those tokens together in so-called output patterns to transfer those information to OBS or other apps. To access tokens and output patterns, open OS and then open OS Stream Companion. Click at settings. Go to Tokens Preview tab, and you can see a list of tokens that we can use. You can see it better on how the value changes when you are playing a map on O's. Using our previous design, we need 5 tokens. C100, C50, Miss, PP if map ends now, Map Artist Title, and Map Div. Now, go to Output Patterns tab. We can use the available output patterns or we can make a new one. To make a new output patterns, click add new. Fill file slash command name with anything you want. For this one, I'll use map underscore title underscore full. For save event, you can leave it be. And for formatting, we want to type our tokens here with added exclamation mark in the beginning and the end of the token name. So for example, we can use uh, exclamation mark Map artist title, exclamation mark, space, exclamation mark, map div, exclamation mark, on formatting. Please keep in mind that tokens are case sensitive. After that, click save, and you can see on the preview showing the right information if you type it correctly. Do this for 100, 50, miss, and pp information. I already do that before, so I'm not going to do that again. Now, before we go to OBS and set all of this thing up, make a new output patterns, name it anything you want, set save event to playing, you can put anything in formatting as long there's something in there, click save. This is important later on because we want to know what state we are in the game and we need to show the pp counter only when it is playing. Next, we want to integrate the value from OStream companion to our OBS, open your OBS, make an OBS scene like usual, add O's game capture if you want, insert your PP counter graphics. Now we have a template for the PP counter, all we need to do now is to fill it up with data. Click plus on sources to add new component. 
Now, if you install Ostream Companion OBS plugin correctly, you can see a new component named text GDI plus SC. Click on that, name it anything you want. Now, add your previous output pattern name on SC source name. If you are typing it correctly, the information should show on the text itself. Now you can move the text around based on our PP counter template. You can also add customization if you want. Do the same thing for 100, 50, miss, and PP information. Observe whether the PP counter works. Now for the icing on the cake. We need to set up our PP counter so that it can only show while we are playing. Click plus on sources, click group, put every PP counter component on those group, basically everything we want to hide when we are not playing. Go to tools, scripts, if you haven't, add text to trigger plugin from before. For file to check, we want to go to Ostream companion installation file and search for txt file name after whatever you put on the previous part of the tutorial. Put trigger check for about 100 milliseconds or any value you might see fit. And for source, choose the group name that we put before. Check whether it works and you have now a custom PP counter. Congratulations. Now, this is just a basic tutorial, but if you got creative and you know what tokens you want to use, you can design any PP counter you want. Here's some compilation of any PP counter I've made before. Good luck, and if you have problems, you can comment or PM my Discord on description. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.